kids. I'm here with little Nathan again. Hello, children. And today we are going to be talking about a man named Job. I do believe it's pronounced Job. It's Job. J-O-B is Job. Anyways, Job had Job. a beautiful friendship with God. He was always talking to God and he was a, just a very blessed man. He had lots of money. He had lots of sheep and cattle and he had lots of children and he just had the most wonderful life. If you pronounce Job, Job, why not God, Gold? We're gonna just keep going. Okay. But, so, Job, one day all these sad things happened to him. All his cattle died and that meant his money went away. And then How he, did they die? Uh, people stole them from him. And or they, they killed them? Yeah. And then he got very sick. So if you just wait, I'm just gonna put these little dots all over your face. Like Job got sick and he got boils. That boils? Is, yeah, ended up showing up all over his face and his body. It was so bad that his friends did not even recognize him when he came to visit them. And then his children all died. Yikes. Yeah, it was that a tough. Lot. This happened over like a year or two, or how long did this take? I, I'm not exactly sure. It happened in a short amount of time though. So it was a very, very sad thing. And his wife said to him, you know what you need to do? You need to just turn your back on God. He's not loving you right now. And Job said, no, I, I can't do that. Did his boils itch? Yeah. These kind of itch. Yeah. And I can't, I'm not so good at itching. <laughs> And then his friends came and said, Job, you know what? You need to confess your sins. If you would just be honest and say what you sinned about, then um, God would forgive you and you wouldn't have so much trouble in your life. So they think that the bad stuff happened because he did bad stuff? Right. And well, that's weird. Is that how it works? No, that isn't how it works. And so Job says, I've done nothing wrong. And then Job talked to God and Sometimes, you know what God said, there's sad things that happen in life mm -hmm. and they're very complicated. It, there's not an explanation. It gets complicated. Yeah. Try to separate things out and parse them here and there. Well, there's not always an explanation for nope. why sad things are happening, but God wants to be with us when sad things happen. Even in the sad things. Even in the sad Was things. Was God with Job? He was with Job. And he said, you know what? I will never leave you. I'm always with you and I always love you. Through every sad thing you're going through, I will always love you. And so today, kids, what we're going to learn about- That was about, nice of God to say. Yeah, we're going to learn about prayer because it's an important thing. It means talking with God. And when sad things happen or with happy things happen, we need to bring them all to God. Because God's interested in all of it. He is. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to make prayer beads. And these are going to help us as we talk to God, because sometimes people don't know how to talk to God or they forget um, or they get distracted. So these are going to help us. How will they help? Well, they remind us what God has done in our lives. I so, look like I have prayer beads on my head. <laughs> When you get kids, you get the beads and you put them on your forehead. No. And then when it itches, it reminds you to pray. <laughs> That's not it. We are going to make a cross. I just made mine out of popsicle sticks and then tie a rope in it. And then you tie beads of different colors in here. And you tie beads. One color will represent when you felt like God was near you or you encountered God. Another bead will represent when you felt love in your life. This, this seems vaguely Catholic. Are well, we, is this a pro legitimately Protestant thing? <laughs> Anybody can do this. I'm a, I like to draw firm denominational lines in this program. <laughs> you do. Well, anybody can have beads to help them pray to God. And when I'm praying, I like to remember Jesus. If we get in trouble with the big wigs, it's on you. <laughs> it will be on me. When I'm praying, I like to remember that Jesus knew suffering too. And that's why we put a cross here. Oh yeah. And then this next bead is when I met with God. And I remember being a very young girl and seeing people be baptized in my church and it brought tears to my eyes. So I put a blue bead there to remind me of when I met with God. In I that would moment. put on mine some of the happiest moments of my life. Probably what would be on there is when we met. 
That's a good idea. That was a great day. That's a great day for everyone when you they meet me. You were out there dancing, just shaking it on the dance floor. Really caught my eye. <laughs> now here we are. Okay, kids, anyways, you want to put a bead on for different moments in your life when you've encountered God, love, beauty, nature, sorrow, joy, mystery, wonder, patience. Romance. And you put all of those beads on here and then as you pray you can remember what god has done to bring love to your life what god has done to show you the mystery of who he is and you can remember all the good things god has done so when you are facing sorrow don't forget god is there with you would you ever put a bead on like if you were sad because you really really like someone and it doesn't seem like they like you back yes i would all righty now let me bless you Oh, I like this part. Okay, so you, kids, you can get your parents to do this with you, and you can either put oil on your forehead or on your hand. Do you mind taking these beads off before you bless me? That would, sure. That's a practical blessing to, I uh, might be allergic. Okay, <laughs> and I'm gonna say, may you persevere all the time when there are sad things and know that God has good plans for you. He will reward you and he loves you, and he is with you always. I like that. Bye-bye. Can, can I bless you next time? Sure. Sweet. <laughs>